Chuck Cashman here, Chief Revenue Officer with Marine Max, and I am going to take you through a boat that's uh, very personal to me, the Azimut 40 Verve. So you look, at, you look at the exterior lines of this boat, and it's uh, very different from what you would see, and it's a trend that's coming. A lot of boats have copied since this boat's come out, but it's uh, extremely modern, and it's really what Azimut calls this is a, uh, is a luxury day boat. It's good enough to weekend in, and uh, I could tell you I have. I like this boat so much that I bought it. It would uh, never imagine that you know, I'd own something quite this nice, but uh, you know, it, it's, it was a dream, and, uh, and my wife and I, for our family, made the dream happen, like a lot of our customers. And uh, I looked at a lot of boats, but this one was the best combination of, uh, of what we were looking for, so I'll be very, uh, very proud to take you aboard and show you what we're looking at. So I would tell you, we, we bought this boat for the exterior deck space, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something cool here. So this is Harkin Trax rollers, so that you can pull this forward when it's time to go out and entertain. And this boat is all about entertaining. That is really what you do. Whether it's in a small group or a big group, the boat gets it done. You've got a wine fridge in here, which I thought was a uh, was just a very cool thing. You've got storage over here. There's a lot of canvas to cover all this beautiful exterior. This battling uh, fabric here is gorgeous. Ice maker here. Little tip out trash can. You've got a sink with a cutting board, and then refrigeration on the opposing side. Pull this out, little the Trigo refrigerator, a little bit of storage, and the, the world famous Kenyan grill. Again, I have cooked uh, probably a thousand meals on this thing through the years. This boat is made to, it really addresses the, the trend that you see in the US right now, which is outboard. So it's 3350s, 3350 Verado, but when you get an outboard boat, everything gets outside. So you can, uh, you get the motors to the back, gives you the most room that you can get inside. This boat's got a sea keeper in it, and uh, we'll give you a quick shot of that. If There's another hatch here, which we won't put the table up, but you got a sea keeper six there. Some of the other things that are in the bilge. You've got your gray water tank. You've got your fresh water tank. I thought this was a real nice finish in here. The generator's in a sound box so that if you're out for the day, you never really hear it. You can hear the exhaust, but it's got a cooler generator in a sound box. This is an upgrade for 2020. The, uh, I had real teak, which I really love the look of. But wow, what a lot of maintenance. So a lot of our customers said, uh, we like the look of Teak, but we don't like the maintenance. So along comes s -Teak, which we've used on a lot of even more expensive product. And it's, uh, it's awesome. I really, I, I really like the way it looks. I wish, wish I'd have had it. Probably worth noting, it's a diesel generator. So it's a gas boat with a diesel generator. One of the things uh, we do that for is carbon monoxide concerns. You'll notice the helm. Now here's a, uh, if there was, and I'll be transparent, if there was a weak point in the boat, the helm is tight. So when I first got on the boat, I said, you know, first place I go, I run to the helm. And I'm like, wow, this is, uh, this is a little tight. I, I don't, I don't, I like just a little more room. And it wouldn't take much. But as I compromised, because the boat did everything else for our family, and, and I didn't expect it to happen. What happened was, when I started driving the boat, I realized how perfectly ergonomic it is. And, and I can't say I saw it until I owned it, but I, I tend to drive boats standing up, and I really stopped driving the boat standing up when I owned this boat. 
it, your hands go exactly where they are. You're, you hit the throttles, your thrusters here, Sea Keeper, air conditioning, which this is a nice 2020 improvement. I didn't have that, I wish I did. Active trim is your trim tabs to make sure that your planing is efficiently. It's all automatic. It does the trim of your engines and your tabs. And um, it's, a, uh, it's a great helm. Now, most people's first impression is it's gonna be pretty tight. I would point to the aft deck and say, well, that's huge and spacious. So that's the trade-off. You could easily move this back, but when you move this back, you do start changing the uh, dynamics of the boat, center of gravity changes, and you start compressing the cockpit where we spent in an eight hour day, in my world, I would spend about, well, I wouldn't spend more than an hour behind the helm and I would spend six to eight hours back there. So to have a bigger aft deck and a big cabin to me made more sense. So that was, that was my compromise. But I'll tell you, you're gonna be surprised. It's an awesome driving boat once you get inside of it. And we'll go down to uh, hands down category winner is the cabin of the 40 Verve. There's no 40 foot boat that I know of that has this type of uh, cabin. Island bed master, and I've uh, I slept up there many times. You've got storage lockers on both sides. I'll open this one because we've got some storage, uh, got some cushions, but two big storage lockers. Got a little TV in here. You have AC control specific for the master. Pocket door. They do the pocket door because the space, a swing door would eat into this room or into this room. This is a sofa that also makes into a, uh, to a bunk that lifts up. But if you need to sleep a couple in a kid, there you have it. And you can actually pull these back a little bit. I don't want to do it because it takes a little bit, but there's a, there's a rail that was set up there for storage and these go back to make this just a little bit bigger. And then a 40 foot head, full stand up head, elegantly finished, Tecmo vacuum flush uh, unit. You got a shower curtain that comes around into the teak floor and it really, it's uh, for a 40 foot boat and a weekender, this is, uh, this is best in class. Induction stove, TV up here. Then you've got your refrigeration here and a little bit of garbage can built in storage here. Storage under the microwave. Rudimentary storage in the floor isn't really uh, worth profiling too much, but I'll give you a quick peek. You can store a couple things, cleaning supplies and whatnot. Now we'll move on, we'll go up to the bow of the boat, an area where we spent a tremendous amount of time. Now I would say the, the person that owns this boat, we boated with a two-year-old at the time and a dog. This, this I loved and my wife loved. So you've got big wide walk arounds, but they're safe. We, we didn't mind letting the dog run around the boat, not feeling like, oh my gosh, he's gonna fall out. All the way to the front. And as you get further forward, the secondary stanchion comes in, which really makes it a very secure, very, very secure bow. Concealed windlass, but you have a windlass. And I'll get over here. And before anybody gives me any hate mail, these are uh, rubber grippers on the bottom of my socks. So they're, uh, they're not OSHA compliant, but they're pretty close. Seat up here, spent a lot of time just enjoying it. Backrest come up. Generally pretty easy to operate. You got a little flip upper here. And there you have it. So if you like to sit up here, lay down, sit here, 
And then for visibility, this backrest is pretty easily. Oh, they got a little lock on it now. That's clever. Another another cool azimuth addition, because I didn't have that. It was a little bit different. That's a much better apparatus. So, and things like that speak to uh, the continual improvement of azimuth. So, my boat was two years old, didn't have any of this. I had to kind of lift and pull it. It was a little clunky, but now having, uh, now having these to lock it in makes it nice. And then for this person, you get a big solid backrest. Stereo zone through the whole boat. You can make the bow, do the bow. And you, if you wanted, you could actually have different music in the back. But uh, quite honestly, it's, a, it's such a social boat. You just turn it up, have some fun. This boat has radar. You could see up there, the searchlight. Full electronics. I think uh, I've said to many people, I think it's the ultimate day boat. You know, it's a good Florida boat. My boat on the west coast of Florida, shallow water. I've, I've had it in waist deep water because you can turn the, you trim the engines up, and uh, you can get in a little over two feet of water. But it's a it's a big boat at 40 feet. It's um, 23,000 pounds. And uh, it rides like that. It's got a good solid ride to it. It um, boat tops out at about 40 knots, but I, I would tell you we cruised all day long at 30 knots, didn't burn a ton of fuel. The 350s are perfect. I know there's bigger motors out there, but uh, these 350 Verados were absolutely perfect power. And I almost neglected to show you one of the cool features. I don't know if it's powered up or not, but let's uh, let's hope it is. Now, there's a uh, we could energize this, but there's a this balcony will drop down and give you access to the water. So we had paddle boards and you float the paddle board up there. You'd step right on it and off you go. But we're uh, we got the battery switches off. I think I showed you that. I think that's it. Well, listen, thanks for taking the time to uh, go through a personal favorite of mine, the 40 Verve. You can find them online at www.marinemax.com. Uh, reach out to your favorite Marine Max salesperson and we can get you more information on this. In behalf of Marine Max and the Azimut team, thanks for watching.